good morning everyone so in the last class we talked about degree sequences and regular graph today we are going to talk about subgraphs and directed graphs so we start with the subgraph so graph g1 is a subgraph of graph g if vertex set of g1 is a subset of vertex set of g and vertex edge set of g1 is a subset of edge set of g such that each edge of g1 has same end vertices as in g so very simple concept for example if we see this graph then we can say that g dash is a subgraph of g because g dash has vertices u1 u2 u3 u4 which is a vertex subset of vertex set u1 u2 u3 u4 u5 u6 similarly edge set is a subset edge set of g dash is a subset of edge set of g and all the edges which are in g dash they are present in g next is vertex induced subgraph we sometimes call it simply an induced subgraph so we say that a non empty subset w of vertices consider a non empty subset w of vertices so the subgraph induced by w is the graph with vertex set w whose edge set consists of all the edges of g having their end vertices in g it means that if you consider w to be u1 u2 u3 then all the edges which are incident to u1 u2 u3 must also be included in the induced subgraph for example if we need to find the subgraph induced by u1 u2 and u3 then we mark u1 u2 u3 and consider all the edges which are which have their end points as u1 u2 u3 yes so we should exclude u4 u5 u6 and the edges which are incidenting to u4 u5 u6 having one of their end points so this is the required graph now for the given graph give a subgraph which is not induced so it's very easy for example if you consider the subgraph abbc you draw it like this abc then induced subgraph must have all the edges which are incidenting to abc but you can see here that we haven't covered ac therefore this is a subgraph of g which is not induced now how many induced subgraph does g have i first suggest you to try to draw them all by yourself and then think graph theoretically or combinatorially that how this number is coming so if you try then there comes out to be 15 subgraphs yes so when we talk of induced subgraph we are talking of induced vertex subgraph or vertex induced subgraph it means that there are four vertices each vertex can be present cannot be present so each vertex has two choices and four vertices are there so 2 multiply 2 multiply 2 total 16 so 16 induced subgraphs may be possible but here we also cover the case where all the vertices are not there which means the empty set an empty set is not a graph therefore we have to exclude that case and the answer is 2 raised to the power 4 minus 1 which is 15 so in case there are n vertices in a graph then it has 2 raised to the power n minus 1 induced subgraphs similarly we can talk of edge induced subgraph same thing we consider a subset of the edge set and consider all the vertices which are end points of these edges so if i have to 
find the subgraph induced by e1 e2 e3 e4 so i must identify them and consider their endpoints so e1 then e2 then e3 sorry this one is not there and the last one is e4 so this is how it looks like and in case we have to find the number of edge induced subgraph instead of 2 raised to the power p now we have 2 raised to the power q because the edge can be present cannot be present and minus 1. Now the directed graph. So till now we have considered the undirected graphs. So whenever it is not mentioned if we simply say a graph it means we are talking of a finite undirected graph. We do not write undirected every time. But if it is a directed graph, we mention it. So a directed graph is the graph which has directed edges. So for example, these are the two directed edges between U to V. They are not forming a loop because both are in the same direction. And in this case, we are saying that u is adjacent to v where u is the tail and v is the head but here v is not adjacent to u so a graph with directed edges is called a directed graph so this is an example of a directed graph where you can see that u1 is adjacent to u2 because there is an edge from u1 to u2 but u2 is not adjacent to u1. Once we have the directed graph or digraph, we can introduce all the concepts which we have talked in case of undirected graph, mainly path digraph, then cycle digraph and simple digraph. Now in case of undirected graph, we simply call degree of a vertex is the number of the edges incident to the vertex. But in case of digraph, we can break the degree into in degrees and out degrees. So in degrees number of the edges coming into you and out degrees number of the edges going out of you. It would be clear from this example. So you can see that in u1 there is only one edge which is coming into u1 so it's in degree is 1 but it's out degree there are two edges which are going out of it so it's 2. Similarly we can compute the in degree and out degree of all the vertices. So for u1 it's 1 2, for u2 it's 1 1. It's interesting to see the in degree and out degree of u4 because it has a loop. So this loop is contributing 1 to the in degree as well as contributing 1 to the out degree. So that's why the in degree of u4 is 2 because these are the two edges coming inside but out degree is 1 because one edge is going out. So that's all from today's class. In the next class, we will start a new chapter. Thank you.